All right, Chris, the new McLaren Speedtail, we've probably seen the numbers on this, over 1,000 horsepower, under 1,500 kilos, but what makes it so special is it's basically a bar of soap, isn't it? It's slippery. Yeah, it has no drag. And, and when you look at the other vehicles that are talked about in this space, the really high speed stuff, yeah. it's mainly Bugatti. And that's got so much more inertia in it in friction. It's got four wheel drive system, very wide tires. And you look at the shape, there's quite a bit going on to disturb the air. Oh. Whereas this, it's a different philosophy. I mean, it's, it's basically a ton lighter than mm. a Chiron. Yeah. And that, that's a massive amount of difference. And you really feel it when you suddenly back off the throttle at 200 miles an yeah. hour, Chiron feels like you've smashed the brakes. Mm -hmm. This thing... Parachutes out the back. Oh, it's it? amazing. This thing just coasts along. Yeah. So it's a very different experience. I was surprised at how fast it felt. Yeah. I thought, well, it's just a P1. 1,000 yeah. horsepower, 1,500 yeah. kilograms. It's not. Yeah. It's wild well, what that, that, that sensation, you talked about it, because it's not maybe a real-world situation most viewers are going to experience backing off at 200, but what it's like the um well you 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 like just, just hit some black ice no, and you, you keep feel, going you feel no there is some there is a sense of deceleration mm. but you just feel a little bit of pressure on your belt yeah and you, and, and the numbers don't really change yeah. in, in in the cars that i suppose rival this you back off yeah. and it's like someone has smashed the brakes yeah so it's a very different experience and it you know the difference is i suppose that because of that slipperiness it's more difficult to give that absolutely iron stability yeah and a chiron is is you know barely moving at 200. This, this thing yeah, is, it's not wandering, but it moves more. Gets you interested. Yes. It's a bit like the uh, Bloodhound uh, Lansbury record car. He says it wanders a bit at five, six, seven hundred. Well, the people of that skill level can do that. I, uh, beyond 200, I like things to be absolutely dead straight. And this still is, yeah. but I wouldn't want it to move any more than it does. Okay, and the other thing that makes this car very special is the layout, the three-seater layout. It's lovely, and I think that there is something inherently special about a seat in the yeah. middle. It, it brings out a, your inner kid. Let's have a sit inside. Look. I quite like these as yeah. well. Watch this. One of the button. So the theatre of this, now you're about to drive from Gardinor down to <laughs> Monaco yeah. with your two girlfriends. Yeah. And, can I be um, one of your girlfriends Of course today, you can. Chris. Jump Cheers, in. Mate. Right. So the, first um, of all, you have to work out your strategy getting in. Having okay. spent a day in it, I go bum there, yeah. but then get my feet into the footwell like that, yeah. and then I wriggle across. Yeah, I mean, there's no truly graceful way of doing it, is there? It's not too bad. So as a, as, a, as a driver on your own, you just bring the wheel back. Yeah. And then drop it down a bit, you're fine. There's something very pleasing about having a symmetrical layout like this, because no other car has yeah. it. So I've got rear view cameras here, you can see those in the doors. Yeah. And then two big screens. Mine, my mini skirt. You're, you're to... the right <laughs> size to fit in it. But yeah. anyone bigger than you, <clears throat> You mean anyone that's average height? Yeah, but see, you could travel in that, couldn't you? That's perfect, yeah. So, I might have to put my arm around you, actually. Yeah, don't, don't get too unnerved. But, but you, um, as long as you get one shoulder behind, you're yeah, OK. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's not, yeah. That's quite snuggly, But it's not for three six-footers, is it? Yeah, yeah. You are right up against each McGinn other, McGuinness, he doesn't fit so well in it. Flintoff, he must have had a leg hanging out the window. Or yeah, something, he was a he? problem. But, but I love all this stuff here. For yeah. some reason, putting controls in the wrong place, <laughs> i.e. in the roof panel, is just... It's just so sexy. Oh, nothing cooler. Pure, also, pure fighter jet, isn't it? Rather than having a track button or yeah. a sort of, uh, you know, a race button, this has a velocity button. Oh, velocity yes. lowers the ride height and changes something in the so car. So that's your sort of VMAX yeah. mode. Yeah, how quick did you go? I think, well, it was only a 1.5, 1.4, 1 1.5 mile runway, yeah. and I did 225, I think I stopped at. But it, it was pulling hard. Yeah, There's no fun. doubt in my mind this thing would do more than 250. Yeah. But if you go beyond 250, there's a lot of very expensive engineering required. And I think McLaren took the right decision and said, well, we don't need it to go any faster it's than 250. It's actually made it more unique that they're not chasing 300 plus. Let's just build a car that's different and it'll do an easy 250. It's but you've nice, won the battle when you turn up with something that looks this beautiful and you're sitting in the middle. Also, what do you like to think about this aniline leather that's got this well, ages and it's soft and waxy. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. And how, how, how long is it going to last? Well, it will. Blue but this, jeans. Well, this thing's been pounded, hasn't it, for 20,000 yeah, miles, the enough. test car. It just gets better, doesn't it? Look, we, you touched on the styling there. When I first saw the pictures of this car, I thought, Christ, that's ugly. Did you? Yeah. Uh, really? Well, yeah, totally, completely ugly. Not what I was expecting. Out of proportion. But I saw it once in the studio. I've seen it again today and it's, it's really growing on me. Because it's so different to anything else. Oh, it's, I think there. it's stunning, it's smooth, it's dignified, it's the antidote to all the hypercar rubbish that's out there at the moment. Yeah. It's too complicated and fussy. Yeah. It's stunning. So you clearly aren't an advocate for all these limited run, multi-million pound hypercars that seem to be 
getting launched every second. But, but, if they can do something truly different, yeah, why not? And it's a road car, I could see someone using it properly. Yeah. I think it's gorgeous, this is what they should be doing. Yeah. I mean, two million quid plus, it should be damn good, but it yeah. is. This is the one supercar, hypercar thing of the last three years that interests me. I think it's just gorgeous. And I was surprised at how fast it was. Yeah. Because over, over 100 miles an hour, it really goes. It feels much quicker than a P1, much more accelerative. Yeah. But there's no drag at all. There's no drag. You think, people think that drag only really happens at very high speed, but if you're doing 100, stick your head out the window. Yeah. It's violent. Mm -hmm. So this thing, I, I would love to be the person that could just jump in it and cruise to the south of France. What a joy. But also, it's obviously designed to do straight line stuff. You drove around the track as well. Oh, you went around some corners in it. Good. What was it like? It's, it's 720s minus 10, 15 percent. Yeah, looks like it's going to handle like a boat. But no, no, no. I mean, they've done a quite a good job because everything that's out the back, it's, it's you know, it's 720 to here, isn't it? Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just carbon fibre. It doesn't weigh much. Yeah, and, like and it's got a massive, and the carbon. boot is massive. Yeah. Come on, it's gorgeous. What I think? No, I'm a, I'm a convert. I'm a convert. What do you think of the wheel spats? Again, not sure when I first saw them. They've refined it, actually. It looks cooler with these vents at the back. Yeah. Um, again, now, yeah, I've, I've fallen in love with it. I'm so fickle. I'll probably change my mind again next week. I think, I honestly think it's the best thing McLaren's done in ages. Yeah. Keep your center, have this.